Welcome to our Worship for All service for Palm Sunday. Good to have you with us. Now, what are you going to need? The order of service is on the website, so you can stop this, print it out, put it up on another screen if you want to. And you're going to need the palm crosses that you made earlier in the week or have been making or can make later on today if you want to do that as well. The other important thing that usually happens during a sun service on Palm Sunday is that we hear the whole story of Holy Week. So everything that happened from today and Jesus coming into Jerusalem to the end of Holy Saturday, the day before Easter. I'm not going to do that as part of this service, but there are lots of ways you can do that at home. So if you've got a Bible, you can read through all of that. And if you've got a children's Bible, read it between you. Everybody take different parts, read the different people in it. And there's another way of doing it, which is to look at a couple of things online. And for those of you who are children from Long Marsden, you'll know that in assemblies, we quite often watch the videos of the Saddleback Kids. And there's another one of those on the internet that you can look up on YouTube um, that will have the story of Holy Week, including Palm Sunday on it. And the other film that's a really good one to look up, even though it is a bit old, is one called The Miracle Maker. And I really recommend that. So if you want to watch the whole story in one go, that's a really good place to start. Now, our starting prayer is a bit different from our normal worship for all. And there is a response you will need for it, which is on your order of service. And it goes, it's got a good rhythm to it. We welcome you here as our king. How did the song go? Did you notice the key change in the last verse? And probably the other thing I should have told you before we started is that there are slightly more verses to sing along to than we've actually got on the order of service. But as you know, I always like to put a deliberate mistake in just to check that you're watching and concentrating. So let us pray. Loving Jesus, you are a king. 
yet you chose to live simply. Help us to do that, to be grateful for what we have, to carry each other's burdens, to notice others that the world ignores, and to follow in your footsteps. Amen. And as always, we think back over the past week, over all that's happened. We give thanks for those things that are good, and we offer up to God the things that aren't so good. And the response is, we are sorry. For the times we got cross, we are sorry. For the times we did not share, we are sorry for not spending time with you. We are sorry. And anything else that you want to say out loud or in your heart. We are sorry. Forgive us all in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit and help us to show the love that you have for us in the days to come. Amen. And now we listen to our Bible reading. Jesus and his friends were going to Jerusalem. He said to two of his disciples, as you go into that village, you'll see a young donkey tied up outside a house. Untie it and say that the master needs it. The disciples did what Jesus had said. They led it up to Jesus at the Mount of Olives and they folded their cloaks and put them on the donkey's back to make a saddle for Jesus. Crowds started to gather together and they carpeted the roads with their cloaks. They cut branches to wave and to spread in his path. And the crowd shouted, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our Lord. Hosanna in the highest. So, I hope you've all got your palm crosses in front of you. If not, you can always come back to this bit. But we always hold them up for blessing. Bless to me this palm cross, loving God. May it help me to praise you from my heart today. May it help me understand all that you have given for me. And as I live through this Holy Week and the days ahead, may it remind me that you have promised to be with me always and that I have promised always to follow you. Amen. Now Palm Sunday is about reminding us that Jesus is a king, but is a king who came in a totally different way from what everyone was expecting. No huge army, no great big palace. He was a king who just rode on a donkey wearing his sandals, followed by his friends. It was as if he turned the world upside down. And at the moment, that's pretty much how the world feels, that everything's been turned upside down, which is why it's really important more than ever to remember that Christ, our King, is still with us. Whatever happens, wherever we are, he is still with us. And that is what we remember as we go through the whole of this week ahead, with all the stories we learn about Jesus, all the sad things and all the joyous things. He is with us, no matter what. Now, I hope you were able to make some of the palm crosses earlier in the week. You can keep going for ages on those, but there's a couple of other crafts that I'm going to show you. There's the good old fashioned newspaper palm tree. And of course, probably most of you don't have newspapers now, but if you do, wonderful one. You roll it up, sellotape it, cut down the ends. And then if you want to act out the story of Palm Sunday, they make a very satisfying noise as well as looking good. And my other Blue Peter moment is to show you how to make another palm leaf. So you need a piece of paper that ideally is green. 
fold it in half long ways. I hope this is all appearing on the screen. And then you want to cut round like that in an arc. There we go. Till you reach the points at the end. And then you cut into it to make the leaves. And then when you open them up, you've got a very satisfying palm leaf to wave. And you can use these to decorate, to put them on your windows, um, to make a fantastic big collage picture of Jesus riding into Jerusalem on the donkey. Or the other one that you can do is write the names of the people you're praying for at the moment on all the different fronds that are on the palm leaf. So there you go, a choice of, that was three different crafts that you can do for Palm Sunday. That should keep you busy for the rest of the day. Now, when I made this one earlier in the week, I made it from an envelope. And in fact, it's worked out really well because you've got the two different colours and it was a long enough piece of paper. And then I started looking around at all the other things I had at home that I could turn into the palm crosses. And we finished a bag of flour this week. So what I've got there is a very satisfying palm cross that I made for when I cut up the bag of flour. And because I had the envelope and the bag of flour, it made me think about all the people we've been so grateful for this week. All those people who are keeping everything going while most of us are stuck at home. So the postman, all those who are getting our food to us. So then I ended up making one out of a Tesco's receipt because we are so grateful for all the people who work there and we want to pray for them. And then the other one I found, you can just see the logo, an NHS leaflet. And I made a palm cross from that. So actually I can have all these palm crosses in front of me as we pray together and we think of all those people who are in our hearts at this time. Dear God, we thank you for all those people who are working so hard to keep everything going. Those in the shops, those who deliver things, and those in the National Health Service. May they know that they are loved by you and by us. We pray for our teachers, the people we work with our friends, and all those family we can't see at this time. Give us patience and hope as we continue on this journey. And we pray for ourselves, knowing that you know everything in our hearts, those things for which we are glad, and those things that worry and frighten us. Help us to know that you are always with us, that your love surrounds us and makes us strong. And as Jesus taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. If you're watching this with other people, then I'm going to ask you to share the piece. And I'm going to say, if you're watching this with other people in your home, then I think absolutely you give them a hug. Because if you've got people around that you can hug, you hug them. And for the rest of us, 
were just going to wave very violently at the screen. Hosanna to the King of David, we meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us share a sign of that peace. Now, last song, you can pick from one that's on the website, but one of the ones that's on there is a, a Palm Sunday version of Little Donkey. So again, you will get to listen to me warbling away, but you can find the tune on that one. have enjoyed today's service. Always like to get feedback so feel free to ring me or email in, um, particularly if you can't see or hear anything. We need to know that the technology is working. There will be another service on Good Friday and another one on Easter Day specifically aimed at um, younger people but there are lots of other services on the website as well. Lord, you know the dusty road that we are on, the burdens we carry, and all that's on our hearts. Be with us as we journey on. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forever. Amen. <laughs>